So, unfortunately, Boost has had a family emergency and has had to leave. I won't let you guys know. Can you not make a little bit of noise for the panelists, please? <laughs> Thank you. All right, so let's get straight into it. Marv, do you think that a girl that has several friends of the opposite sex, do you think that if a girl has several friends of the opposite sex, it's a red flag? No, not really. I don't think so. You're okay with that? I think it depends on... Your girlfriend, by the way, just not, not any girl. It's your girlfriend. No, it's fine, because... Yeah, I think it's fine. I'd, I'd rather that than her say, I just don't get on with men. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't think girls really ever no, say that. They mostly say they don't get on with other women. That's what I'm just saying, but if then that's more of a problem than if you do get on with people, it's fine. But I think it's how the interactions happen. Like it's for me to like kind of look at these friendships and what time are they ringing? Like what are you doing with your friends? I think it just depends. You can have as many friends as you want, but if there's boundaries, respect, it's fine. Yeah, I think it's a red flag. And that's what about you? What, for them to have too many female friends? Yeah, flag, 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 It's a flag. You've beat at least half of them. you got five, so by your reasoning, you have five male friends, good friends, so you'll beat two and a half. I can explain why I've got so many male friends. No, but you beat, you? by your reasoning, you've beat at least two of them. No, wait, I would, I would really like to hear the explanation, to be fair. Why, I have why do you have lots of male friends? Because I don't have an, ex I just have them, I don't have an explanation. No, because she, she just said that if he has female friends, he's beat half of them. That's what I So mean. have you beat half of your male friends? That's I've what not, is asking I've not, but I can explain why I have many male friends. If a, girl, if a guy can explain why he's got many female friends, then I'd love to hear the reason. Can you, you explain why you, you have... Nice guy. Can you explain why you have many male friends? I am a musician and I'm in a male-dominated scene. I Therefore, I've been doing it for over 20 years now, so I'm going to meet friends that are male. I guess that excuse works for me too. Because I'm a DJ and I've been DJing for several years as well. So, so you've got... Bare male no friends. I do have a few, a good few, yeah. I do. That I can share beds with. Hey, right. And nothing right. happened. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong, I know the difference between a real platonic friend and I know what man would be if I could do that. Alright, so what if your your boyfriend works in fashion? And in his arena of fashion, there's bare women that work in fashion. So he can have bare female friends. So you'll be fine with that? So you'll be fine with that? I could understand. No, no, no. No, no, no. I could understand. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. I could understand. You're talking to him. I could understand it, but how they behave will play a part in it. Like we said, we would be respectable. I'm not going to ring back to a mad hour because I'm being respectable. Yeah, but remember, you said it's a red flag. Remember, if you, if you said, let me see how it is from the beginning, then that's not saying a red flag, but you said it's a red flag if he has more female friends. That was, that was when we wasn't talking about fashion, we were just talking about having millions of female friends. Millions? Not millions. Okay, what constitutes as loads? The same one that sat in the front seat. I would say <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem to be honest. <laughs> no, but I no, but I explained that I made a mistake and I, I've learned from that. But you're you're pretend you're so grown, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I've grown, I've grown. I would say that loads of female friends is like any more than any more than three. Well, why are we putting well, that? No, 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 hang on a second. I mean like don't get me wrong, we all know lots of people. I'm talking about flows, like you're calling me, you're telling me about your day, like you're asking me if I want to go here, if I want to go there. Like if, if, it, if it's to that extent, then I, I find that that's a little bit. I mean, I would say three, anything more than three is, is, a, is quite a lot. Like how many, there's only so many hours in a day. How many calls are you taking? This whole friendship thing, friendship is is subjective because me and Chizzo graduates, sometimes I he wants to hear me for me for like five days. Like, you know what I'm saying? But then when we do link up, it's like, we've picked up where we've left off. So friendship doesn't mean that- Five days is not picking up where you left off, bro. That's real life, like, that's normal. You made it sound no, like but, it's like six months. No, but, you, no, but you're making it seem as though like, because I have friends that are female and there's more than three, 
my day is going to be female friend, how you doing? Oh, what? Well, I said, but hold, the second female friend's in here. How are you? Oh, my God, first we want, it's not going to be happening like that. There might be one girl that I talk to Monday, I might talk to Fiona on Thursday, I might talk to Angela on Sunday, or I might not, but friendship is subjective in terms of how we, the way we're talking is like, this female friend is going to persistently ringing man 24-7, on the phone, that's not gonna always happen. Cheers, you wanna jump on stage? Because at this point, you sure? You're talking through, just, you're talking through me, don't lie. Because I just feel like. What was the voice? What was the voice? Vicariously through me. Okay, got you. That's right. Um, so, do you? how do you feel about like. nicknames? Like Babe, Hard? Like, where are we at with those? Yes, talk to me. There's no reason. <laughs> there's, no, there's literally no reason on earth. No reason on earth. Why your boyfriend <laughs> would call his friend babe? Why? Do you call Why? your friends babe? That's the no. question. Never, no. never. Babe, for what? No, babe. No, no. no, that's bro. Is it bro? Is it bro? bro. Tell me now. Is it bro? It's bro. He said to me it's bro. He told me it's bro. Bro. <laughs> babe, what? No. Absolutely not. Because what is Absolutely that? not. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it, it depends on the person, though. No, I know, but it depends on the person. Like, for me, for example, I'm not a, I'm not a babesy kind of guy. Like, you're not going to hear me say to girls, you're a babe. Hear me out. He's got one more comment, and then I'm pulling the stool on the motherfucking stage. Because right. at this point, you're on the panel, Chiz. Do you want to be Because there's a mic across the stage. Do you want to be the voice? Babe and baby, of course, is different. I tell you, you've got one more. Okay, it's wonderful. It's wild, it's wild. None of my male friends call me babe. No, but why? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but why? Yeah, but yeah, but to be fair, babe, I feel like babe is like, what's going on here? Like, I do feel like babe is a little bit like, it's, it's iffy. It's iffy. It's iffy. It's iffy. It's iffy. It's iffy. Um, can I get a show of hands? Put your hand up if you think babe is acceptable if your partner is in a relationship and they're calling their friend babe. Put your hand up. Male or female? Sorry. You, That's very partner, important. Your actual partner, whose name I'm not going to say, um, <laughs> puts his name. He is calling his friend. Hey, how you feel about that? Oh, hun. She, she calls him hun, he calls her baby. How you feel if she calls him? It's fine, man. man. No, nah, you, don't, you don't talk to the man them like that. Do you, do you know what's no. so funny? She said, you know what was so funny? Can we bring it in the mic? So she got taken to sit. He called her my baby the other day. What's funny, babe? Hey, it's not really LOL, but it's how he talks is how he talks. So I know that he talks. He can call people, babe, in front of me. It's a term. I talk, I talk to people calling her babe, darling, babe, honey. Is that how I talk? Yeah. So therefore, that's how he talks. That's how he talks. I, I, to be fair, I feel like to read too much into it when I know how he's spoken for the past decade. But oh my God, he's called her babe. What does that mean? It's true. Okay, fair. That's, I think we, we have to take you have to take into consideration how the person talks. If, if they're always a babe and a hard kind of person. Fine. Then it's fine, but if they don't call people babe and hun, and then you hear them talking to a new girl and they're like, you know, keep it down, 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 Okay, so you think it's fine if that's just like who they are in general? Do you know there's certain people that everyone's babe? Babe, 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 everyone's babe, then cool. She babe too. But if you're not someone who's babe, and then I hear you say to a random dude out of the blue, hun, Seven months. <laughs> then there's a difference, you know what I'm saying? Okay, fair, fair enough. Um, so, yes, okay. Questions. So, yeah, we spoke about that like, babe and baby. What if your friend's partner or whatever calls them a random nickname? Or like a pet thing. Yeah. Like a squirrel. Or squirrel. Yeah. Not cookie. Or squirrel. 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 Cookie. Relationship is over. That's random. 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 That's
I'm just need to know the basis of this nickname. Do you know what I mean? Because say the nickname is Squirrel. Oh, so long, people. Oh, so long. Oh, so long. You had one more. No, no, no. Alright, so essentially what we're talking about is our pet names. Babe, Pun, <laughs> and these sorts of things. Yeah. Are you. Alright, so let me ask you a question. You've already said you're not here for the tonic, my mother, and your girl. If you, you are single, but one of your female friends is in a relationship, yeah. how do you feel? Like, are you prepared to call her babe? I don't really talk like that anyway, so no. Alright, so let's say that there was a term of endearment that you used. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't know. So you'd be respectful? Yeah, 100%. Oh, my okay. goodness, they got smoked. I respect that. Um, does anyone have any questions or comments about any scenario that they've experienced in a platonic friendship? Or... I have a story to tell! <laughs> 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 Okay, all right, all right. I'm just gonna just run with that. Alright, so, um, I used to work on a cruise ship, yeah? Four years working as a pirate. Nowhere to go but on the ship, everyone is proximity infatuated, sort of like Big Brother. This one dude was playing gay for at least five months. What? Yes. I don't oh, he played the long game. He played the, he, he played the long game. He played the long game. He played the long game. So he knew, he knew her boyfriend was friends with her boyfriend, but was playing up gay for five months to get into the crutches. He did it, and obviously things went south. But he played the long game. He pretended, he pretended to be gay as a friend, knew the boyfriend. And still managed to get that everything he wanted. Yeah. So, wait, um, so are you saying that he smashed while she was in a relationship? Yeah. Um, she was a friend of mine, idiot, but she was a friend of mine. And he was like, oh, well, you know, I've, I've been gay for so long, but you're making me reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the thing is, it's like, no, no, do you know what it is? It's a compliment. So, wait. What it is, is that she thought it was a compliment. So from her perspective, it was like, I, I think it's a compliment. Oh my gosh, I've turned him straight from being gay. He must really want to smash, so I'm going to let him do it. That's what I think of it. Or, like, like, it's not even a case for me. It's not even a case of insecurity. If I say this, I don't trust this dude. He doesn't seem gay. And, and when it comes to relationships, <laughs> he's, 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 he's not giving off the rainbow vest. No, but the funny thing is, as a boyfriend, if he said that to her, she would have said, "You are crazy." Of course. Yeah. He's gay. What do you mean? And so insecure. That's what I'm saying. When it comes to when it comes to being a male friend, they have to be vetted. It's like, oh, you're gay. Show me your boyfriend. Kiss that brother. <laughs> No, because if you're part of it, you're part of it. I'm not going to prove my gayness to you. No, because if, if, if I'm suspicious, if I'm suspicious, and if I was rightly suspicious, because he beat my chick. He beat my chick off the line about being gay for five months. Okay. It's true, right. though, because on the ground, there'll be okay. at least one picture of your lips and his boyfriend or something. There'll be something on the ground. Not necessarily. There'll be a one gay um, pride mark. There'll be something on the ground. Not necessarily. Uh huh? Not necessary. There'll be nothing on the ground. What is on your ground? Are there pictures of you lips and gal? What? Well, are there pictures no, of you lips and gal? No, but there's pictures of stories of Chris Brown. Clubs and with me, with Gal in America and that, so... Chris Brown. Alright, that was a couple of months ago, so Chris Brown. 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 Thank you, brother. Oh. Okay, um... Thank you for the story. Thank you so much for the story. It's nothing to consider. It's feeling, it's feeling like it's really extreme. But that's what I'm saying. That, look at the example. Oh, yeah. The extent some man will go to just to, to trust. Smash. Man done the whole gay thing. That's that platonic. 
for four years. The tonics, the five years, you know. Five months, five months, five months. Oh, five months. I'm, I'm, I'm the cover for five months. That's the tonic, the tonic. It's a long time. All right, so we kind of, we kind of touched on this earlier, and I would like, I'm interested to know if this is, the opinions vary based on it being women or men. Do you think, you've already made your opinions clear, do you think that if you get into a relationship with someone and you have slept with someone that is your friend, you should be honest and, and share that information with your partner? Is that to the audience? Is that I'm, to us? I'm asking Ness first and then we'll take it to the audience. One thousand percent because I cannot have my partner looking goofy in any establishment. Be goofy because I've had sex with this guy and I'm just like, yeah, this is my friend, but there's no backstory. You're looking goofy because he could be sitting there. He could be sitting there looking at my man like, yeah, I've been a that's what I'm saying, but you, you need to know your friends. Yeah, I'm not, I hear that, but he could be. I'm not saying it's not impossible, it's not because the same. man's ego no, is a mad thing. I hear you, but the male ego. But for example, if me and your friends mm -hmm. have chopped in the past. You don't keep it down, please keep it down, audience. If we've chopped in the past and we both know it's not that anymore, yeah. like we're past that and we're cool, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in terms of that. Mm -hmm. Not that we're on and off, on and off, on and off. Mm -hmm. That's different because I'm always going to keep on trying it, but on and off. I'm yeah. saying, if you're both reached a point where both of you are like, we're not even on that no more, and, but we're such good friends, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, I would not tell in that yeah. scenario. Do you know why I would tell? Because if we're that close and we're friends like that, I expect you to be at my wedding. How can you be at my wedding? I definitely be honest. I would tell. I'm honest. I would tell. Can I please have four shots of tequila? No, three. Four. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, What's the upkeep? So let me get straight. You think like people not at weddings that have chopped the groom or the bride? I've been to I've been to weddings. Of course you have. Wow. That's the last thing. I've been to weddings. Of course you have. I've chopped the bride. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not joking, I'm joking. That's what I'm saying. Like, as in, who's the bride? The bride is like, no, remember, as I'm saying, this is what I'm trying to ask. No, but remember, as I'm saying, it's not that anymore. As in, like, it happened years ago, and we're not on that wave anymore. That's crazy. So, I'm going to go to the wedding and say, wait, man, chop, you know. That's what I'm saying. 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 That's what I'm I was saying because I would want to know. I would just want well, to know. You know in life sometimes, you know that everyone says they want the truth. But sometimes you can't handle the truth because the moment I told you, I hear that. it's just true. You don't keep it down, please, please, honestly, because the audio is going to pick you up. Well, 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 the moment I told you this truth, that relationship is done now because there's no way he's going to be happy with us being cool. Some people can't handle it. But if you're my person, then you're going to understand me, why that happened, why it's no longer, and why this is my dog now. Understand what, what stage did you tell the guy though? Because I'm gonna, if you told me like seven months in, I'm pissed. I'm like, why are you told me seven months? No, we've been hanging around this bed since month one. If we're just seeing each other for seven months, there's no way I'm opening my mouth to tell you anything. So, wait, is it like, a certified will be, guy? Will you be my girlfriend? Yes, of course. I slept with my friend. Kai Mad. <laughs> the the same way. day. Yeah, we were girlfriend. Oh, by the way, you know where's the? I'm chopping 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 where's the? i am chopping where's the 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 i am chopping I like Fiona, to sleep calm at night. No, there, no. There, there are people in here on the ground that are following people they've had sex with. So that again, that from what? The there, are, there are people in this room, for example, I'm not saying in general. There are people in this room that are, have people on the, on the ground that they're following, that they've had history with. And, yeah. their, and their partner will never know. Yeah, but following it, they're coming following it, they're hanging out. No, you know what I'm saying, but then, if that's the case, then like, let's be honest with everything. What? Okay? 
There's a couple of my followers I sent with you. No, no, what are you doing? No, 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 do you think, alright, let me get straight, do you think I'm happy if, right, if you're getting a Fiona and Fiona's following me and I've hit Fiona, you're going to be happy if you find out that, that she's still following me on the gram? Exactly, you're not going to be happy with that. No, but she knows about the following me. What are you talking about that? Say we went out. Guys, please, honestly, please. I know, it's honestly so much fun. But can we just, <laughs> <laughs> just give it down, please, please. We said if you go out with your partner, you see... She sees someone. Exactly. Gives her hello. Yes. And then One, I ask her and say, yeah, I'll hug. And no, then I say, you didn't ask. Because that's oh. lying. Okay. If you ask her, she said no, she's lied. Okay. But is she supposed to be like, do you know what? Just FYI, we did bend me over. Jesus! You know what? I'm crazy. Wait. I was like, I'm trying to finish her. Okay, so later on in bed, she should tell you. I don't know. Wait, is that your family by a friend, though? Because why are we talking about stuff that doesn't matter? Okay, so this is your friend. Okay, so you don't have to confess unless it's your friend. Why? Do you not feel like. Oh, no, Jess, let me ask you. If it's not your bona fide friend, you wouldn't confess. No, it's not my bona fide friend. It's just the guy I had sex with. Why do I need to talk about him to you? Because it's. We're talking about. We're talking about platonic friendship. Maybe I. And you don't tell me, I'm looking good at my man as well. Okay. So, so vegan, how did you so do it? Are you basically saying that if it's your friend, you will confess? But yes. it's just a random. So let me let me flip it now. So you're out and you're in the, you're in the club, yeah. and a girl approaches your guy, and he, she gives him a hug, yeah. and he knows that he's to smash it with a year and a half, and, a and he doesn't say anything, but then yeah. you find out two years later, how do you feel about that? I would ask, why didn't you just say it? I'll say, why didn't you just say it? The same way, wait, 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 wait. I didn't say, how did, what did you ask? I said, how did you feel? Uh, how would I feel? How did you feel? I'd be like, you could have just... I'll say, you're calm. You're relaxed. You did it because he was ages before me. What can I do? He's been there for a year and a half. I'll be honest. I like to know the truth. You know, I respect the truth. I swear to God, I respect the truth. I I'll be happy if you know that I know that that's what you did. The minute I don't know stuff, and I'll be happy that I know that that's what you did. The minute I don't know stuff and outside people are telling me shit, then I've got a problem. If you tell me the shit, I know the shit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound all that realistic, but I hear you. it's so realistic for me. I promise you, it's all right. for me. That's fine for me. <laughs> How does the audience feel about exes attending weddings? Outrageous. No. For what? No Yo, let me hear from you. No, 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 she's serious about it. Let me hear it. No way. I like for what? Let me do the wedding, man. I, I have, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, I need everyone to hear this. So he's felt your wounds. Oh, he's felt your wounds. And this is this is why we do this event. It's because you can't trade. We really need to. What did you say? He said he's but he's felt your wounds, and we really we have to get into it. Do you know what I mean? Let's get into it. Let's get to the the thick of it. Oh, look, look, I do yeah, tell, I, I look, I look, tell. Tesla's on set, what are you saying, what are you saying? Why would you want to celebrate your day and have someone dance? How the day? Get your wall. They're not your friend. I said to the girls, you've had sex with, it calls you bros. It's okay. You do. I'm man. So, so wait, so if they had sex in 2003, they had sex in 2003. No, that could have been. How many times? They had sex once. 19 years. I they could have had sex in BC. I don't know what. Not BC. Not done. Before Christ. 
That's why me, I, I wouldn't want to be at a girl's wedding, but I've been with a wife. It's always girls that want to be there. I've, 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 I've got ex, I said, whoever you marry, I'm coming to your wedding. I'm like, why? Why do you want to be there? No, but she I don't care, I'm coming. No, but she was sick. I just need to be there. No, but why? She, why? She, why? Was, she was sick, oh, she's unstable. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go to no girl's no, but wedding. Like, but remember, you know your heart in it, for example. She might be able to come to the wedding because she wants to scatter the whole day. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. She wants to, she wants to leave her. Mark, yeah, but I don't that day. I don't want to scare the wedding. You don't need to be there, bro. That's not real. I was, I was, I was. When you was at the wedding, you didn't, when she was walking around the aisle, you didn't get a little flashback, bro. Yeah, but I said, I said, wait a second. That worked good, bro. I like? Yeah, bro. Go to church. I'll be honest. It just that doesn't seem like I'll be honest with you. If you're coming to my wedding just because you want to look nice, I'm pleased with you. Because and I mean that with all due respect, but I'm paying for your pay, okay? So yeah, I'm coming to the wedding, but in terms of in a tux. Oh, how you look is literally. Okay, Fiona, can I ask him all the questions? Of course, ask him everything you want. I just want to ask, when you went to that wedding in particular, at any point in that whole ceremony, yeah. the whole after bit, did you think that after bit? Or was it just you had a flashback. There's an end still. There's an end. At any point, not a flashback, but did you think? Definitely. Yeah, it's been in there. No, you are. Are you on it? No, but I don't remember. I don't. I saw the ass walking on the arm. I didn't have to think. I've been there because. You I'm there. there. I know it's happened. I don't need to. Alright. It was there, 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 there. I just went to the wedding. It comes to the crazy celebrating. And does Zoli know your existence like that? Or? He might do. I don't know. I don't know if I had the conversation. That is your crazy zoom. Yeah, I did. Oh, yes. I no, but she might have told him. She might have told him. I hope she told him. Oh, I'm gonna finish. Remember, if I'm at the wedding, no, she didn't. I don't know about the business. Doesn't matter. Did I already ask? Oh, All right. Did I already ask the audience? Like, how does the audience? You're not too friendly. Say that again. Too friendly. You're not too friendly. I hear you, but um, that's because you're like, like a savage. Do you know what I mean? You're like. Uh, no one can be my friend. So, um, <laughs> so let me just. Okay. <laughs> audience. How does everyone, like, put your hand up if your ex can come to your wedding. Or not your ex, sorry. Your partner's ex can come to your wedding. Put your hand up. No one. You got a different wedding. question. Two. Three. That's a different question. You guys don't care. You say it's a different question. Yeah. I know I changed it. Was, it was come to a wedding and see me lips. I don't mind, bro. I don't care. See your dance, see your EK, do what you're doing. This is the future now. So you All that time for the man when you get to the wedding. <laughs> How would your future wife feel if she was there? That's what she said. What do you mean? How, how is that respecting her? Like, how would you just think she would feel? Just no, say you being no, 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 there. How would you think she would feel with her? Your ex is yeah, being there. there. Like, how would you think she would feel? Your future you wife her, that you're about you to marry, that you've so just so married, you that you're okay with your ex being there and everything's well. How would you think she would feel? I don't know that, that's, that's a her problem because... Oh, that's you! Right. Right. That's the right. right. you! Right. 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 It's not just you're married. You're about to get married. That's the you. You're about to get married. I'm sorry. You're about to get married. You have to be okay. 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 Remember, in the day, if, 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 I told you already, I'm, I'm, oh my god. What's this, I man? It's just, it's, just, it's just the way it is. I'm right. right. so ready, remember. I didn't say that my wife couldn't invite her ex. I never said that. I said she can invite her ex to win. I, no, I don't care if she does. Whatever you do, it's your business. But I'm saying I would have a problem with it because that's the part on the future. So I'm saying, if you put the scenario and I invite my ex, for example, and you know about it and you're cool, 
If you have a problem with it, then that's something to do with me. But at the end of the but day, if so, you so have so a problem with it, you yeah. should be man enough no, to be able be, to respect a No, I shouldn't be. No, because at the end of the day, we can have a conversation and you can say to me. Just because you don't have a problem. Can I finish? I'm saying to you. Go on, finish. Go on, finish. If we have a conversation and she's not comfortable with it, then said person doesn't come to the wedding. Okay, cool. Right, that's fair. If she's fine with it, then it is what it is. But I'm saying I wouldn't care if her ex came to the wedding because for me, it's the history. And remember, they might, they might be friends now. You know, give me that, give me that. I actually think that stance is quite fair. Let me hear from you guys. Does it make a difference if the ex has children with your partner? And it's what? so funny that you said that because that was my next question. Hear me out. So you've been in a relationship for like 11 months, yeah? You've not got together in January. Christmas comes around, your partner has children. And what it is, is that the children are like adjusting to you guys not being together yeah. anymore. So for the last two years that you've been that your partner's been single, they've gone to their partner's house on Christmas Eve so that when the children wake up to open the presents, both of the parents are there. No, that's all of them. Times have changed. How does everyone feel? Oh, I'm here. I'm the sheriff. You've got to be the sheriff. You've got to be the sheriff of town. I'm going to be the sheriff of town. I'm going to be the sheriff of town. That's all of them. All right, cool. I'm going to hear from Lioness at this point. I will be so honest with you. Yeah. If I'm just having fun, you can have all the kids you want. I didn't say you were having fun. Just as long as you look after them, yeah. Who said you're having fun? No, no, wait, wait, let me just say it. If I'm having fun. If I'm not, I don't think I'm doing any kids. I'm just not doing the Wait, hang on a second, hang on a second. So you're now saying that you wouldn't date them out of kids. Is that what you're just saying? I don't think I'm saying it. I don't want to. That's what the question of the scenario is. I don't want to. No, no, no. That's what the question is. That's what the question is.
they're cool, cool, and you disappear. They don't know why you disappeared. So in their mind, some kids will be like, it might be me, I don't know. There's little things you have to think about when it comes to kids. All right. I'm just saying, to be mindful. Just, no, clap for him. That was great. That was so good. But it wasn't the answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> Not about abandonment issues. It's not always. No, 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 no. It's no, not. No, but he's saying if you don't go to the yard, if Mama don't go to the yard for the Christmas, then the kids might be. Yeah, no, I'm not asking you that. I'm not asking you that. Listen, listen. So you let your girl. Go, 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 go. No, don't be angry. Don't be angry. Go. Don't be angry. 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 Don't be yeah, there's a question over here. All right, who's got a question, mate? Because honestly, I'm like, I don't understand. I'm honestly, I'm stressed out, to be honest. Well, you don't have a good show, you don't have a good show, It wasn't really a question. Thank you. It's more of a statement. Why did I have to stay over? Why can't they just go at 7 a.m.? They went at 5 a.m. But the thing is, anyway, they're not going, first of all. But second of all, <laughs> if they are desperate, why can't they just get up early and we can all go? I can wait in the car, you can quickly nip in, drop off Yeah, yeah, I'm with that. That's true. What what can you wait in the car? <laughs> I, I agree with what Boo said, a change has to come. And exactly, it's now. is this a fucking stakeout? What oh, is this? Not a stakeout. Why are you in the car outside the yard not waiting? Not a stakeout. In the oh, yard. So, let me, so to just explain it, it's more... It's not overnight, though. Oh, it's not, I never said it was so overnight. Not, overnight. Not, overnight. Not, overnight is unreasonable. Uh, you're, you're my missus, yeah? Okay. okay. I drive to your yard, for example, or you drive, yeah, I drive to your yard, mm-hmm. where in, where with the kids, whatever, you look out the window, <laughs> my missus is sitting in the passenger seat, <laughs> waiting for me to come. Well, it's going to be as well, it's going to be as well. It's mad, it's mad, it's mad. The exit's going to look out the window. Look out the window and see the car what engine on. <laughs> She's got to need some heat, she can't have the car off. The engine's running. I, I, the engine's running for like two hours. No, no, look, the heat. That's a 20 minute what? max mission. God love it, God love it. For me. Open them presents and get them fucked up. I agree. What is happening? Get in and out like a bank job. You know what I mean? All right, cool. So, the panel is in agreement that um, if, it, if it does happen, it needs to be super quick. No, super, it's I'm, 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 I'm it's 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 go. It's just go and just chill. No, my thing is, bro, you can't stay overnight. That's, that's, that's crap. That's what happens. No, no, my thing is, not, don't stay overnight, but in terms of if you want to spend Christmas Day with time with the family, cool, because remember, at the end of the day, you might leave at maybe 7 p.m. So you might spend the day, a cup of turkey, do what you're doing, open the presents, then when it gets to a certain time... Turkey time! <laughs> I don't like turkey. That's so okay. You're okay with that. Christmas, I eat turkey on Christmas, so I don't, I don't eat turkey. I know, but... So I, I don't even celebrate. No, I'm not saying. No, this, this is a particular circumstance where the kids are involved. The kids are like 13, 14. Allow it. Like, yeah, what age? 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 What because we've already gone way over time and I don't want to get sacked by box part. So I would like to say thank you <laughs> to my panel. Thank uh, you. Can men and women be Sonic Friends? Have we got to Have that? Have we the question? Yes, yes or no? Not on the My answer. <laughs> not on the boots of what? Um, my answer is. Yes. 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 I have some friends that I would literally. Doesn't matter what they said, it wouldn't happen. So I'm gonna say yes. Uh, what, can we answer one by one? Can you ask what? Answer one by one. one. Of course. So you um, go first. Uh, you say uh, no. no. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, only. Like we know. Okay. <laughs> Mark, what about you? I think they can. Yeah. You think they can? Yes. One thousand percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Can you guys um, yeah, start with Lioness? Tell the people where they can find you, please. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Lioness, 
every other social outline is official. Yes, and Marvel. Uh, Marvel and Abbey, Instagram, Marvel, I mean, um, Twitter, Marvel and Abbey. Yeah, that's it. Just everywhere. That uh, is it. Um, Instagram, Pack Up My Bruce, you're open now. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 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 Instagram, Pack Up My Bruce, you're open now. Yeah, I know. Um, Twitter, Marvel and Abbey. Instagram, Pack Up My Bruce, you're open now. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Um, Twitter, Marvel and Abbey. Instagram, Pack Up My Bruce, you're open now. Yeah, I know. Um, Twitter, Marvel and Abbey. Instagram, Pack Up My Bruce, you're open now. Yeah, I know. Um, Twitter, Marvel and Abbey. Instagram, Pack Up My Bruce, you're open now. Yeah, I know. Um, Twitter, Marvel and Abbey. Instagram, Pack Up My Bruce, you're open now. Yeah, I no, it's fine. I enjoy it. It's fine. So, um, I just want to say today marks the one year anniversary for Box Box Talks with me hosting. I mean, not today, this month, but anyway. <laughs> I know, right? I know. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. No, but honestly, like, I'm genuinely so grateful. Thank you all for coming out. Like, I've had so much fun. You've been an extremely dope panel. And um, I don't know. The next one, it might be in October, but it might be in November. You've got a question? No, I'm sure. I'll put your hand was up. All right, cool. Well, um, you guys make some noise for yourselves, actually. Is that it? You want to make that little noise for yourselves? Can you make some noise?